he was a landscapist he was a economic botanist he was a orchardist and he was a town planner and he was a archivist uh, and he was conservationist he had a multifaceted personality not just for lal bag mini gardens in mysore street kaban park karjan park in mysore and uh, a hill station nandi hill station kemangundi hill station and a garden in uti so to improve all these gardens and also palace estates to improve the palace estates also krumbigal was deployed incidentally krumbigal was in the beginning he was a economic botanist and he was a curator of lal bag and later he became superintendent of government gardens all the gardens in mysore state in 1928 so he used to get lot of plants from australia um, grapes mangoes and then apples so many fruit plants he used to introduce here and he used to get them acclimatized and mu- multiply them then give to the farmers krumbigal was really a visionary he has given a plan for constructing the horticulture college building in lalbagh and also he wanted to start a college government approved only the building not the college so that's how the building came up now it is directorate that is where our director of horticulture functions he also built one more building in lalbagh called museum it is there in the center of the road a lovely classical building he started a museum in lalbagh that museum perhaps worked till 1950s thereafter it seems it was wound up it is no longer there no civil servant is privileged to go near the highness or even to shake the hand only krumbigal among civil servants had that rare privilege and also maharaja used to whoever worked for him if they are very obedient very faithful and uh, very loyal he used to uh, commission a bust or statue similarly he got uh, a bust of krumbigal is cast that that bust is still in mysore palace and also he got a, a colorful painting of uh, krumbigal it is still in the mysore palace when british vacated india he, he, he it seems he was overjoyed he wanted india to gain independence in heart he was a indian in his uh, uh, still we can say uh, by sentiments he was a mysore Krumbigal he served as director of agriculture for 3 years and you, you see any building in bengaluru city government buildings you can see a tree there you go to central college bengaluru there is a tree planted by him you go to uh, law college in bengaluru the old law college in bengaluru in front of mysore bank you'll see a tree cashier marginator and go to serum institute in bengaluru near abroad you'll see a tree planted by krumbigal so likewise he has planted uh, a cereal blossoming trees in bangalore only after krumbigal's uh, entry into bangalore garden city the name rather epithet bangalore came to be called earlier bangalore was not called a garden city at all krumbigal is not forgotten a road in bangalore has been named after him by the bangalore city corporation by the side of lal bagh and a, a small uh, uh, heritage building in lal bagh He is named after Krumbigal in 1990s when the centenary of Glasses was celebrated, and also uh, he, he, there are centenary of Krumbigal was uh, organized in Lal Bagh in 1966. There is a beautiful note on uh, Krumbigal's uh, obituary in Lal Bagh Journal. So we have not forgotten Krumbigal because of the generation gap it has happened. That's all.